Well, I think the most uh, uh, significant event in my life was in 1931, just after we moved to New York, and my mother sent away for theater tickets to the biggest smash hit musical on Broadway called The Bandwagon, which starred Fred Astaire and his sister Adele. It was the last time that they ever appeared together on the stage. And I had never been inside a legitimate theater before. And it was the new Amsterdam Theater on 42nd Street, which at that time was the most glamorous musical theater in the world, probably. It had a little theater on top called the New Amsterdam Roof, and it had a double revolving stage, which became a carousel when the Astaires danced and sang I Love Louisa. We had six tickets in the first row of the second balcony for a Saturday matinee, for which my mother paid a dollar ten each, and I pointed down and I said, what's that? And my mother said, that's the curtain. And I said, what's behind it? And she said, you'll find out. And it was exactly 30 years later, almost to the day, no, not to the day, but to the month practically, when a play of mine opened at the Belasco Theater, which was two blocks north and one block east of the New Amsterdam. My mother sent me a note on opening night which began, so you found out what was behind the curtain. And so that was a signal event in my life that day that I first set foot in a, music, in a theater of any kind. I'd been in movie theaters, of course, but that was my first theater. And then uh, I was immediately... What, what impressed you most about that? Uh, the curtain. I still love <laughs> curtains. I love, the, I love the, the surprise of a curtain going up. I go into a theater now and I see the set and I say, oh, and I sit there for half an hour looking at it and there's no surprise. Nothing is revealed to me. I love the, and I loved ushers, I loved seats, I loved the lights that dimmed, I loved the gold ormolu, I, lo <laughs> I loved everything about being in a theater. Then I was taken to a couple of plays, a, a thriller called Double Door, which was a marvelous thriller, uh, about a rich family on S Fifth Avenue who had a secret chamber behind a double door in the library, and another play called Post Road, and I became enamored of the theater. Just from that, I started even scribbling little plays, do you know?